In this video, we're going to take a closer look at when to use certain message objects throughout your project. Now, there are three different message objects available. The first two we're going to look at are the notes and the balloons. And then at the end of this demonstration, we'll also talk a little bit about slide text, which is another message object. On this particular screen here, this example, we show that the note we have here. And if you look at the timeline, the note comes in at the beginning of the slide, followed by the balloon. Now, the best practice is that the note by default will come in before any balloons. And this is why. A note object is used to present general information to the learner. In this case, we are showing the title of this particular project, as well as additional information summing up what this particular example or this particular project is about. Now, once you do that, you can follow it up with a balloon. In this example, we are following it up with a balloon as we start the example or the demo with a call to action. And let's go ahead and zoom in here. So again, the note is general information that's presented first, followed by a balloon, which is used as a call to action as opposed to a note having general information. And this balloon's call to action is telling the learner, click here to reveal the drop-down menu options. So again, note general information followed by a balloon containing a call to action. And then as we go to the next slide, you'll notice that the action then occurs. And then we'll progress through this particular example and see how this works. Here again on this slide, we have a balloon showing a call to action telling the learner to select open from the list. Then the action occurs, that's what the learner would be doing. And now on the next slide, we have a note appearing again, and we have a balloon. Again, let's select the note, and you'll notice this comes at the beginning of the slide. This is by default, because notes will provide information normally followed by a call to action. You can mix up and put notes in different places, on the same slide and mix them up with the balloons, but we're just showing you the basics of best practices. In this case, when we're placing the note on this slide, we're providing some general helpful information to let the learner know that what they're seeing on the slide right now or in the video that they're watching in the folder with the images in the background here may look different because their computer has different images and may be configured differently just to let them know that what they're seeing is not necessarily exactly what they're going to see on their own computer. This is followed, this general information, by a balloon, again a call to action telling the learner to select an image file. And then if we continue on, that's followed by the action of them selecting the file. And then another call to action telling the learner to click the open button. And again, the call to action in the balloon is followed by the action itself. And then on the final slide, let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Let's take a look at this. Now on the final slide, we have just a note, it looks like. And we actually also have some slide text, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But on this last slide, we're using a note with general information to sum up the entire video. So in this case, we're, we're providing some final thoughts that your image file is loaded in paint ready for you to edit. Now you'll notice on this particular slide we don't have any balloons. The reason is because there's no further reason to have any calls to action because there's no other places in this particular video where we need to tell the learner to do anything else. So it's not necessary to have them. However, one final thought on this. Keep in mind notes are used by default first to provide general information followed by a balloon which is a call to action and after that normally the action itself will occur. But you also have an additional message object element that you can use throughout your project and it's called slide text or text frames. And you can use this to take and add text to a slide and have it blend seamlessly with the background. In this case we have a slide text object that's saying visit us at, and then with a link to our site, carbon.com. That's all there is to it. 
If you have any questions on this particular topic or any others while working with Carbon's products and services, please visit us online at carbon.com. Thanks for stopping by. Happy Vuliting!